How you going guys? Bacon Bits here with Orcs Must Die 2. We are playing Crunch. And this is... This was the hardest level for me. Uh, because in this level we have... We have four entrances. There's not a decent way to... Uh, bring them all into the kill box. Uh, you have to have two kill boxes. Um, but I figured out a way to... Um, to maximize my score as best as I could as well as uh, simplifying everything so you don't have to do as much running around now I started a bit late mainly because this uh, this level is really long and I can explain things from here I'll start with my trap selection I have the crossbow uh, it is has its primary maxed and it does headshot damage, gives you mana, and that's especially important for this level. Then I have the ice amulet, which is especially even more so important in this level than in any other level. And that's because we will be fighting a boatload of og ogres, trolls, uh, and they come in the fire, ice, and armored variety. So you really need that ice amulet and the extra headshot damage, and you'll see that later on how effective that can be. Um, then I've got the brimstone. It uh, it hits more targets and uh, I think uh, hits up faster. Uh, I got the barricades. Uh, I've I've seen a lot of videos of this level, and they don't use barricades. And I can understand why, but um, for for a better score than the usual, or better chance of a score, I decided to go with barricades, and you'll see later on where I put them, um, just to basically lure the enemy into a kill box that I set up. Uh, next, I've got the grinder. I used that bye bye, twice. I could guys. probably have done without it. Uh, gone with something else, um, maybe uh, like a push trap or maybe even the war blades. Um, but you'll see where I put it. I put it in my main kill boxes on either side. And that has the. Um, it unjams as quick as possible and does the maximum possible damage. I then have archers. Um, now I've opted to go with the. The normal archers that regenerate, not the flame archers, and the reason for that is because uh, basically you have a lot of fire ogres and um, things like that, which they don't do anything against. Um, that's the same reason, or one of the reasons why I didn't go with fire crossbow. And also there'll be they'll be killing off um, the air units mainly um, and also yes. kobold uh, sorry, knoll hunters um, they come <coughs> excuse me and attack your archers pretty much your decoys don't do anything and they just run straight through your archers so you need to keep as many of them as alive as you can uh, next is the decoy, very essential trap as well. It uh, it has the maximum life upgrade and also the it regenerates itself. Uh, now you could probably go for the one that explodes because you'll you'll have quite a lot of money after you've set up your kill boxes. Um, but it's up to you, your playstyle really. Uh, next is the tar trap. I use it at the center of my kill box and that's just so the archers can have a greater opportunity of killing off more units and slowing down the ogres. And the scorchers for obvious reasons. Um, they're perfect for dealing with um, the ice ogres. You will get like I think it's a batch of four come out at the same time and they're all bunched up at the kill box. So those scorches uh, and 
as well as the brimstone really help to uh, to take them down quickly. And then of course I've got the mana amulet which is I think essential as well. You could probably, if you're good at headshotting, you could do without it. Um, but I like to have that extra bit of mana in emergencies. Now if you've been watching me play you'll see my strategy is basically any of the ogres you just freeze them and do headshots to them it takes them down massively quick and one of the reasons is because of my ice amulet now the ice amulet it's uh, maxed for its primary maxable ability uh, sorry I forget what that is uh, I think it's the widespread um, range or something and then its next ability is uh, frozen units get extra damage so you've got an extra headshot damage you're gaining mana as you do your headshots and of course you're doing extra damage because of the ice amulet and there, that is just a perfect combination for killing ogres which is what you're going to need in this level now you don't have to worry at all with this setup about any of the orcs at all pretty much all you have to do is worry about the ogres, the trolls and as you can see I stuffed up there, I'll fix it later and alright that's as you can see my basic kill trap grinder on that side I put another one around the, around the front there and I basically make a large section right in front of that brimstone here uh, with tar and then around the borders on the front I put the brimstone and at the back I put the, uh, the scorches and of course as you can see where I put my um, decoys I basically start spamming heaps and heaps of decoys in fact I think in the end the pretty much the last thing I was doing was just putting heaps and heaps of decoys down and that's extremely important because when they come at the end it's just pretty much ogres and a good strategy I would think if I replayed this level would be to to stagger uh, the decoys so I'd put more decoys on one side than the other uh, just as a precaution so if any ogres do get through, which you'll see they do, uh, you can deal with one side quicker than the other. And then uh, you can move to the other side. So yeah, that's the basic strategy behind it. You will have to do a bit of running around back and forth. But uh, uh, just to mention also the flyers, you don't have to worry about the flyers at all. Uh, now just to uh, give you an idea of how I began the first thing you do is you build on one side uh, preferably the side uh, that comes from the top first that's where you build your arches now I build, build about 10 or 12 arches just along the side there or you can do them in the corners um, but basically the main kill box is it's set up perfectly so you set them up in a row like that and it, it takes them out pretty quickly uh, so the first thing you get is about 10 arches I'd say and, uh, and you place them on the, the first side the next thing you do is you get 10 arches and you place them on the other side so with all of your money that you can spend on the first two rounds you'll want to buy archers. Now third round's different you'll want to uh, you want to build your barricades up if you've not seen uh, the barricade setup I've got I've basically just blocked off uh, one side and that's so they run through the kill box obviously and same with the other side you'll want to do that um, somewhere at the beginning of the third round now you'll get lots of money after the second round um, so you should have enough uh, also 
Just keep in mind that on the third round, they start coming out from the sides. They start at the the west, um, the west gate, I believe. Uh, they come out at. So all you have to do is set up your barricades at the west side first, and then at the east. And they stagger the waves as well, so they'll come out in the third round, I believe it's the third. They come out of the west, and they'll only come out of the west um, basically until they've gotten to your kill box, and if you're using this setup, by that time they're all dead and then you can run over to the east where they'll start coming out and take care of them there so pretty pretty simple um, the the hardest part for me when I first uh, was attempting this level was the third round where they had like I think it's four or five ogres or six ogres come out from each side and I was having a a heap of difficulty uh, trying to figure out how to deal with these ogres. What's the best way to deal with ogres? Because I'm I'm very capable of dealing with orcs. Uh, a simple kill box like this deals with orcs simply. Uh, you don't even need to worry at this point, or even by level five, uh, worry about orcs or kobolds anymore they're all taken care of, you don't even have to worry about the flyers. But the orcs, I was having so much difficulty with the orcs. And I was scaring the net, I was looking up strategies, and I was I was pulling up I think it's the uh, the tunnels in endless mode and I was just putting up a whole bunch of different traps I hadn't tried before and uh, trying different strategies to uh, try to combat ogres and things like that and yeah pretty much the best plan was to freeze them and headshot them and so I figured oh why not uh, why don't I just uh, get the frost amulet upgraded uh, get my headshot damage and then uh, I was uh, watching a video, I'm not sure by who, but I'll try to find out and put it in the comments, uh, put it in the description, sorry. And he suggested um, to someone's video, uh, you could use your, uh, your ice amulet and upgrade your crossbow for uh, the mana, which gave me a great idea, just um, just do that and then have a kill box set up for everything else. So that's what I come up with and it's it's worked pretty pretty effectively. It's pretty hectic near say wave 11 and 12 but right up until that point it's pretty cruisy. You don't have to worry too much just keep going back and forth and checking making sure everything's uh, hunky-dory uh, now <laughs> you'll see I think it's it might be this round or the next two rounds but basically an ogre gets through and kills off like three or four of my archers and that really pisses me off uh, but basically one side ends up getting heaps of archers taken out and I was I was shitting myself thinking oh I'm gonna lose this one I've been playing this level for ages and I've done really well and then an ogre pops through and starts killing it ah so yeah I was lucky um, the ice amulet saves your ass um, even if you don't headshot them because sometimes like in this position right now there headshotting them I'm I've got my crossbow shooting right at his head. It's not doing anything. I think it, uh, it might be a bug. Might be a bug. I, I'd say it's a bug because I had uh, my my crosshair was green. I was shooting right at his head, and like maybe he had his arm up a bit and he was shooting himself. But I was aiming at his head, so that should 
have headshotted him, but it didn't. I reckon Robot should fix that. Hopefully they do, because a lot of people don't like the crossbow for that reason, the accuracy. And unless you're really, really good at it, or for this level where you pretty much need it, uh, people don't tend to use it. Which is a shame, because it's the best weapon in my opinion. So they should really improve the accuracy of the crossbow. Uh, but I'm going to keep using it regardless, because it's my favourite weapon. And yeah, so basically that's my setup. At the bottom there I'll, um, I've been putting brimstone down because I think for some reason I got it into my head that kobold run runners could somehow get through while my archers were taking on the flyers and the orcs and things. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll just put down the brimstone just for backup. And it turns out it was pointless. You, I could have just spammed more decoys, which would have been better. Here's the point. Here's the point where the, the ogre takes out my archers. And you just take care of him with the freeze. And you'll find money doesn't seem to matter so much in the later waves as well. I just end up spamming decoys everywhere. As you can see, it's begun. And of course, putting more scorches down. You just keep doing this. More scorches, more decoys. And persevering through the endless waves of ogres that you will encounter. Now, you, it's it's pretty hard to get combos in this level, uh, which is why I've tried setting up a little kill box like that as best as I can. And if you guys know as well, just write down in the comments whether or not decoys constitute a combo point, that'd be great. I'd, I'd always wanted to know that, but uh, it's, it's hard to test. Um, you can you can put it down, but I, I've tried it before, I've tried testing it before, and I've not figured out if it's possible, if, it, if that's what happens, but unless they explode, of course. Uh, but if you guys know, you can just uh, put it down in the comments, or any tips or anything you could suggest um, we'll all help each other out and improve our own scores and each other's scores and oh yeah this is the point where you get all of the ice ogres coming at the same time there's four of them and then on the other side taking down more archers now this is the point where I was really glad I put down the, that brimstone and those scorches and decoys because basically these fire ogres just sat there for like ever trying to take down these decoys and I finally got around to getting my ass over there not worrying about this side and taking those fire archers down so it took me a while but uh, I did it and as a result of my stupid play all my decoys up there are dead and half my archers are gone. Now wave 11 uh, my opinion is pretty simple you'll get out of both sides you get a stream of orcs and out of the left and right side you get a stream of orcs pretty simple to deal with just take down each side run over and freeze them. This side's pretty easy because the majority of them are just normal ogres that drop in three to four headshots. If you can manage to headshot them. There I go, I'm getting frustrated with the crossbow and just decided to start spamming it. 
it doesn't work trust me actually that's a lie if if you're like right up close to them like that and you freeze them frozen guys take more damage because of the upgrade right so you can just go up to them spam them and kill them quickly actually it's really effective for the hunters whereas I'm still trying to headshot them just persevere keep going back and forth uh, keep an ear out for the, the null hunter sound that they make And whenever you hear it, watch your minimap. Find, try to find out where they're coming from, and you should be fine. Don't do what I did and fail miserably. Final round. Finally, it's the final round. It's about time. And just so you guys know, I probably will not be making another video for this because I hate this level so bad it took me I think I spent about three or four hours trying to figure out this level and I have finally figured it out and I five scaled it for you guys and it's it's a pretty simple strategy you just got to uh, keep an eye out for everything but basically I do not want to play this level again so I hope you guys are satisfied with my performance in this level and I hope it helps you out uh, you won't get the highest score I think my, my final score was about 300 or something like that uh, you guys might be luckier or do better or add another track or something like that Maybe add some dwarves or something. Maybe change the grinder for something else. Or add a, a bleed effect to the grinder, that's a good idea. Just to uh, try to improve your combo points. And you guys have good luck and have fun. Try to have fun on this level. I know it's hard, but uh, persevere and try to shoot through all those decoys, I know it's hard, but you'll get it, and I'll leave you for the rest of the, the level. And we're done guys. That wasn't too hard, was it? <laughs> Five scales. Yes. And that is how you do crunch and to never ever ever be done again. Alright, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you at the next one.